Hey guys, it's Addison, and this video is about the gates on the Digital Garrison app. Um, the gates only come from the uh, MCOM IEW sites. They don't come from anywhere else. Um, and to get to them, if you're a public affairs officer, you would go to Dashboard, Express, and then Gates. Um, now, if you have a Gates page, the app's not going to pull from that. It's only going to pull your gates if your gates are express objects. They have to be express. Everything in the app has to be express objects. And I just want to preface that just because, you know, sometimes, you know, I have to say that. Okay. So um, in order to get to the gates page, someone clicks on um, installation and they click on gates. Now, uh, at the top, you'll see, like, you know, in this one it says, our mission is to provide required services, infrastructure, da, 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 da. So that text is coming from the installation object from MCOM. So if you go to Express Installation, you'll see the installation description. Now, um, in order to change that, uh, not only would you need to change it in your Express object, but then you would have to email AFES so they could update it. Because remember, nothing in that um, Express installation screen is live right now. If you change it, it's not going to change on the app. Um, but I just wanted to give you an idea of where that's coming from. It's your installation description. Okay, so at first we're going to talk about the Gates information page. Uh, and this is the list view. So the list view will show the gate name, the hours for today, um, and then the distance from the user to the gate. So um, if they have their location turned on. Uh, and then it'll also show the notice. It's going to be a little bell icon at the bottom. Now, um, number one, the app does not display the gate number. So um, just remember that if you, if you have a gate number um, and you have it in your express object, it's, it's not going to show in the app. Um, the app also does not display the gates description, okay? Just the notice. Now, um, by default, the app will show the user the gate that is closest to them and the gate that is open currently. Now, do you remember when I told you that computers are not smart, right? This is where I wanted to apply that that um, idea. So a lot of people have, have had problems with, um, you see this little text that says closed, open, you know, closed, open. Um, a lot of people have had problems with it not displaying correctly. And that's because the open and closed tags are coming from a computer. So the computer is looking at the user's time zone looking at the installation's time zone, and then looking at the value that's in that day, okay? So let me give you an example. Let's switch back over here. All right, so in this view, you're gonna notice that only two, or only one of the gates actually has hours and says open. And that's because the hours are really straightforward. They're, you know, 4.30 to 8.30 p.m. Um, and the reason that the computer can read that accurately is because it's regular bread. It's not pita bread. So when you put something like the words inbound or outbound or, you know, anything else, you're giving the computer pita bread. You're throwing the computer off and it's like, wait, what? I don't know if it's open or not. Um, any kind of little words, it throws it off. Like I said, computers are really, really stupid. So, um, like, I know that the developers at APES have done a lot to try to like fix things. Like they've, you know, um, they've told the computer that 24 slash seven is the same thing as 24 dash seven. Um, and it's a working progress, but um, that would be the first thing for you to check first, is if, if you have given the computer pita bread. So let me give you another example. <coughs> okay, so this is gate three, right, at Redstone. 
Now notice, look at the hours, right? They're inbound, outbound, there's a bunch of words. That's all the pita bread. Inbound, outbound, that's the pita in front of the bread. Um, the app's not displaying it in the list view because it doesn't know what it is. It's confused. So, um, to, you know, let's, let's just, let's practice, right? If I were Redstone, well, I'm just going to pull it up right now. Let me get a little text box going here. All right. So if I were Redstone, I wouldn't have put inbound slash outbound 0530 to 1800 and then outbound only 1300. Okay, that's what they've put in the Monday section, right? Um, I wouldn't have done that. This is what I would have done. Instead of putting inbound outbound, I would have said 0530 to 1800, okay? And then for Tuesday, looks like they're open from 0530 to 1300. <clears throat> and then I would have just kept going. And then in the notice section, right? There's a little notice section in the gates. I would have put outbound only after 1300. Okay? Daily. It looks like daily. That's what I would have done. Um, not only because Whenever you're doing hours, it's best to group anything that's similar into one statement. Um, so like this one, you know, Redstone has said that it's outbound only 1300, but they've said it five times every single time, right? Well, the user is still going to see outbound only after 1300, and they're even going to see it before they go into the, to the details. They'll see it right there, you know, on the, the screen, okay? Um, but also, if it's outbound only after 1300 every single day, the user will see that every single day. And they'll get the hours in the list view, all right? So it's just like trying to consolidate it and make it as easy as possible for your users to understand the hours, because I know gates have like crazy hours. <laughs> They always do, right? It's always the gate that's closest to your battalion, too, that has the craziest hours. But, um, so this is where it comes back to. If, if the Redstone, if Redstone would have just put this, 0530 to 1800, the closed and open tags would be working. Um, another example, um, let's see. Yeah, okay, so this is the other example I had is, is, you know, this is why it's showing. If it's not showing here, it's probably because the app can't read it. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. Um, so we talked about how it displays it. Um, it'll display it if a um, close, like the, the gate will be at the top if it's open or closest to the user's location. If the user has their location turned off, they won't see that little ETA and um, it'll display in alphabetical order starting with the ones that are open. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out that I also told a lot of the uh, new garrisons that onboard onto the digital garrison app is that I really liked how some people made their visitor control center a, a gate object. So, you know, they go into Express, click on gates and they make a gate but it's called Visitor Control Center. And I just, I, I really liked that just because, I mean, it displayed in the gates. It was very simple. You know, you didn't have to put like a lot of, you know, information, but it still gave you the Latin long. It was really nice, so. Uh, let's see. All right, so the detail screen. Uh, so this map is what's going to show um, the Latin long that you've inserted. Now, one thing you need to know is that the Latin long has to be a decimal. It cannot have those little degrees in there. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If you go to Google Maps, right? I'm just gonna go right now. Okay, I'm gonna, here we go, Sterling Creek, okay? I'll click on that. 
it's gonna load. My internet's being so slow. Come on, click on something. There it goes. Okay. Did it go away because I clicked on it so many times? There it goes. Okay. I'm trying to find the Latin long. Here, I'll drop a pin. Okay. So if you copy and paste this with the little degrees in it in the north, the app will not read that. The app will send the user to Antarctica. It won't do that. It has to be these decimal places right here. Also up here in this, okay? So I just wanted to call that out really quick. You know, don't forget that. The Latin long is very, very important. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, if your gate has um, federal holidays and training holiday hours, it'll display them. If it doesn't, if you don't put any value there, they won't display at all. Um, let's see. The app will also group uh, as many days as possible for the user. Uh, so you know how I told you when, you know, you're making the hours and you want to group like, you know, that 1300 outbound into the notice. That's the same thing here. I'm, this is the app. Instead of saying Monday, 3 to 7 p.m., Tuesday, 3 to 7 p.m., you know, it, it's grouping it, making it a little bit easier for the user to read. Um, so that's what it will do. And then the user will also be able to see the notice down here um, in the list view. Uh, now, clicking on Get Directions uh, will take the user to their default, like Google Maps, and uh, drive them to the Latin long that you've put into that those those blocks. Um, okay, and then I've made a table here about the logic of um, how the app will group things to display them. So this is an example of how you know. I put in as a public affairs officer, my gate is five to five, five to five, five to five, five to five. The app will display it as five to five, Monday through Friday, five to five, Saturday to Sunday. So this is same hours every single day, but the app knows that the users think of Monday through Friday as a set of hours, and then um, Saturday and Sunday as weekends. So it will you'll never open the app and see 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sunday through Saturday. You won't see that. It'll always be, if it can group Monday through Friday and Saturday and Sunday, it will. Um, I think, yep, that's it for Gates. Uh, let me go through a couple other, let me just make sure that I've done all of that stuff correctly. Yep, okay. All right, guys, thanks.